Hello everybody. Welcome to Word Shard. Today we are going to start with nine gold medals which is written by David Roth. See, this nine gold medals is there in the syllabus of ICSE class 9s and class 10s. It is a very simple one and you can score a lot of marks from here. So just follow the whole thing that I tell you. All the questions will be from whatever I say over here. So you'll be clear with whatever can come in the exam. Uh, before starting with it, although you will not be said questions like who is David Roth, I will just tell you to learn a little bit about the poet because he is the one who has written such a beautiful poem. Okay, through this poem, we will see that there are beautiful things in the world. Okay, we will come to know that world is not only just filled with negative things around us, but there are certain things which will make us happy and we have things to learn from anybody and everybody even from animals and plants we have things to learn okay. so we are all equals and there are a lot of positive things happening around us so before that uh, before learning what happens in the poem we will see who is this person who wrote such a beautiful poem see david roth was born on october 10 1954 who is he he's an american rock vocalist he used to sing songwriter actor author and also a former radio personality he, he used to sing and he was the lead singer as i told you of california based hard rock band he has a band and the name of the band is van halen and he's the lead singer over there okay so this is what we need to know about david roth here is a picture of david roth which will tell you uh, and show you how he used to sing in the band van halen okay uh, so now let us move to the another important part of the poem which is what is the poem about? Why did he suddenly write this poem? This poem tells us about the Special Olympics. What is the Special Olympics? We already know about the Olympic Games. But the word special over here tells us that there is something special about this kind of Olympics. This is a type of Olympics but a little bit uh, different a little bit special than the others it is the world's largest sports organization for people with disabilities for whom is this olympics played this is done for those people who has certain disabilities disabilities means some people who are blind some people who are who cannot hear who cannot walk properly there are certain people like this around us isn't it they also need to play certain games Okay, they it require it needs they also need some recreation. So for them, the Special Olympics are held. This organization helps the differently abled people to develop their confidence and self-esteem. These are the most important points. Why is the Special Olympics held? So that we can build confidence in these differently abled people. Previously they were called people with disabilities and all that. Now we do not use that term for them because you know if somebody is blind he might have a you know huge amount of intelligence okay different and more than the other people so if he is disabled in one thing he is capable in the other so to build in that confidence into that person we have the special olympics okay so first thing is it helps us to build their confidence to build their self-esteem that yes they can also do certain things which is beautiful which is better than the others okay to develop this trait in them we have the special olympics now this is held every two years okay every two years we have this game and it provides year-round training to children and adults training is also provided to them for the children and the adult for the children and the adults and every two years they have the game as a global movement, Special Olympics try to make the world a better place to live in, healthier and more joyful. So the world needs to be a beautiful place. We need to find happiness in the world. Okay, if few people are unhappy, if all these differently abled people are unhappy in this world, then it is not a good world, isn't it? So every person needs to be living in a happy environment, needs to be happy. So... Uh, to build up this beautiful place or to make every people happy these games are held so that the people with disabilities can also be healthier more joyful and more happy okay now let us read the first stanza of the poem it is very easy you will understand the words almost the athletes who are the athletes in the first stanza the word athletes is used 
to tell about those people who participate in a sport okay they can be runners they can be weight lifters okay any kinds of athletes all of these people in the olympic games you see na so many types of games are there R there are uh, different forms of sports so these athletes these are the participants who have come from so many countries so from different countries people have come to run for the gold and the silver and the bronze so these people have come from various countries for what to participate in the game and to win the gold the silver or the bronze medals many weeks and months in training all building up to the games so they have spent a lot of time in practice okay they have practiced daily weeks after weeks they have practiced for months so that they can perform well in the special olympics and so that they can win the gold silver or at least the bronze medal okay all building up to the games means that they have been practicing why they have been practicing so that they can perform well in the games in the special olympics let us read the summary also so that whatever i said in the first stanza it is clear to you you can even copy it down several athletes came from different countries to win the gold silver and the bronze medals they had spent weeks and months in strenuous practice for the games strenuous practice means they have practiced a lot okay they have you know they they have sweated a lot to do well in the games it was a special olympics for the differently abled this you already know that the special olympics is held for the differently abled people uh, and they have practiced for a number of days and months so that they can perform well here okay first stanza is as simple as that let's move to the second stanza we will see a picture where we see the track this is the track this is called the track where the the participants run or perform and this is the gallery where the people come and sit these are the, also the spectators who watch the games sitting over here so now let's move to the second stanza all round the field spectators now in the picture as we have seen who are the spectators spectators are the people who sit all around the track so that they can see the games so there are a huge number of spectators who have come the persons who have come to watch the games they are here the gathered and cheering all the young women and men so these are the participants the young women and men these were the participants who were participating in the special olympics and all the people in the gallery in the all the spectators they were watching and cheering the players the participants then the final event of the day was approaching the last race about to begin so it was the final event the last event was going to start it was a last race it has to be a race now what is the summary the spectators had gathered around the field to cheer the young participants the final event of the day was to begin now the final event was going to start the spectators were gathered they were interested they were cheering all the players okay let's move to the third stanza the loud speakers called out the names of the runners see this is a personification loud speakers cannot call out the names isn't it so there must be the the you know the heads the authorities who are calling out the names of the participants through the loud speakers so their names were called the runners the participants in the 100 meter race what was the last event it was the 100 meter race and all the participants of the 100 meter race was called to be run and nine young athletes stood there determined and poised poised means ready for the sound of the gun so sound of the gun means this is the sound of the pistol that this is a kind of signal which is done and then the race begins so all the nine young athletes the performers okay in the 100 meter 100 meter race they are all ready poised means they were all ready to run the race what is the summary the 100 meter race was about to begin the loud speakers had announced the names of the participants nine determined why were they determined they were determined to win the race they have practiced a lot so now they were determined that yes we will do good in our, we will perform well and then we will win now they were ready they were ready for the signal all of them desired to be the champion now this is the way you signal in olympic game you just fire the gun and the race begins now we move to the next stanza stanza 4 now the signal signal is the gunfire was given the pistol exploded that means we have this image to show you uh, the pistol was the the gun was fired and then the runners on hearing the sound the youngest among them now all the runners started running but although the race began the youngest among among them the among the nine 
participants the youngest one stumbled stumbled means he hit on something his foot hit to something and he fell down and staggered staggered means he moved unsteadily now he gets up but he is unable to get up on his he, but the youngest among them stumbled and staggered that means he stumbled he hit his foot and fell down and he staggered he moved very unsteadily he was unable to move properly and he fell on his knees to the ground so he just fell on his knees he could no more run the race what is the summary the contestants began to run as soon as the signal was given so all the contestants were ready already as soon as the gun was fired they began running but one of them who was the youngest the youngest one of the runners suddenly stumbled and lost balance he fell on the track you already know the track track is the place on which they run so he falls down over there he can no more run let's move to stanza 5 he gave out a cry of frustration frustration means he was angry on himself that what did i just do i just fell and now i cannot run i have hurt my feet and i cannot run and obviously then he is going to lose the race and anguish anguish means grief and pain he was very sad that no i am not going to win this time his dreams and his efforts dashed in the dirt dreams all his dreams what were his dreams he wanted to win that was his dream and all his efforts he has practiced for so many days for months and now look at the condition he has lost his balance and he has fallen down so it is ruined it is destroyed all his dreams and his efforts were ruined but as sure as i am standing here telling the story who is this i maybe the speaker who is watching the olympic games the special olympics he suddenly he says that he suddenly saw a very strange thing what was the strange thing but now it is a strange one but here is what occurred so he, we are going to know what was the strange thing that occurred summary is what the athlete after falling down cried out in disappointment he felt as if all his dreams to win the race were broken into pieces all his dreams were shattered but something strange happened soon now what was the strange thing see in stanza 6 this is the track where we run okay this is another kind of sport maybe and uh, the eight other athletes stopped in their tracks now all these in this track there are eight tracks and all the eight other people who were running their races they suddenly stopped the ones who had trained for so long to compete for throughout these days all these months and weeks they were practicing all of them have practiced equally so they did not think about it but what did they do one by one they turned round that is they were running but as soon as the other boy the youngest one fell down all of them turned back and returned to whom to the fallen runner and came back to help him why did they return because they wanted to help him and lifted the lad lad means boy to his feet now he had fallen down he could not get up on his own so they returned to just pick him up and so that he could stand in his ground summary the remaining eight runners on seeing him fall instead of continuing the race they could just continue the race isn't it they could just run and one could win okay one could have got the gold medal okay they could have thought that okay this one has fallen down this one is out of the you know disqualified so at least one competitor is less but they did not think like this they thought that no we are one okay this is our olympic games we have to be together this is for us and we are one okay therefore they stopped and turned to help the boy all the athletes had trained and practiced very hard to win for so many days they have practiced they should not have stopped isn't it normally most people would have thought like this that no i'm not going to stop i'm i'm going to finish i'm going to perform well so that i win the you know the medal even then they stopped to help the boy who had fallen now we'll move to stanza number 7 then all nine runners joined hands and continued the 100 meters reduced to a walk why was it re reduced to a walk because see one if they are if they are holding hands if all the nine participants are holding each other's hands then they cannot run fast okay because one of them one among the nine has hurt his foot he cannot run isn't it he can just walk maybe he is limping he is staggering still okay he cannot walk properly has hurt his foot so all of them does not run anymore they just walk with the youngest boy who had fallen and the banner above that said 
Special Olympics. The banner. What is the banner you see in the picture? The banner always tells you what game it is. Even in the IPLs, we see this. So in the banner, it was written Special Olympics. And the word special obviously is true, isn't it? Over here, all the nine athletes who run over here and who stops running and returns to the fallen person so that he can also stand up and finish the game makes the Olympics a special Olympics. It was a unique one. Okay, why? Because the human beings showed their humanity. They showed that they are one. They, shows emp they show empathy. And what is empathy? Empathy means when you feel for the other person. When you can relate to the other person, when you feel sorry or happy, or then you try to help that person who is facing some difficulty. So this is shown in the Special Olympics. That makes the Special Olympics all the more special, the unique one. Could not have been nearer the mark. What do you mean by nearer the mark? The way these nine participants performed, the way they did not stop, the, the way they did not just go and finish off their game, they returned to help the other person who had fallen down, shows that the Special Olympics was actually special. The differently abled people were obviously far better than many of us. The many of us are selfish. They think about themselves only, isn't it? Most of us would think this way, that let us finish the game, let us win. But winning and losing is just not that important as important humanity is, isn't it? If it even if it is a game, winning and losing is a part obviously, but that is not the most important thing. What is most important is how you show this, how you show that you can you can be a better human being. Okay. That is the sportsmanship spirit. Okay. What is the summary of it? All the nine athletes then join hands and walk to the finishing line together. The race which was meant for running was reduced to a walk. If it, uh, the question may come that why was the race reduced to a walk? The race was reduced to a walk because they were holding hands to reach the finishing line and the other person, that is the boy who had fallen down, could not run. So it had to be a walk. They had to walk together to finish the game. The banner was above them which showed Special Olympics was very much appropriate because this word special identified them as the unique people who knows what humanity is, unlike many of us. Stanza 8, that's how the race ended. Now this way the race finished, all the nine participants come to the finishing line holding hands. The nine gold medals that came to the finish line holding hands still and the banner above and nine smiling faces. This shows that all the nine participants were given one gold medal each because they all were the winners. Okay, there were no losers in the game. Why? Because all of them uphold that spirit that yes, we are together, we are one and we can show sympathy or empathy to each other. Okay, if one has fallen down, then yes, we are here to help him up. We are unique and yes, we are better maybe than the rest of us. Now let's see the summary. The race ended with not one but nine winners. Each of them was given a gold medal for the displayed human values. This is very important. The displayed human values that we are human beings. We feel for one another. It is not just we are thinking about our food and our reproduction. We, we think better than that. We have been given a brain to think, to feel for others. You know what makes us different from the other animals? We have a better thinking power. So because we have that, because we can think, we can love, we should love and we should feel for the others. Okay. We have the qualities like, we can nurture the qualities like kindness and empathy. The Special Olympics thus become all the more special. So because of these participants, they make the Special Olympics unique and better than the others. Okay. Now the main themes of the poem, let us see, there are only two themes which are also related to one another. First one is celebration of human values. These are the human values. Which one? Kindness, empathy, these are human values. And all these nine participants, although they were differently abled, often we think na, that differently abled people are okay, okay, they are lesser than us, they are not as good as us, isn't it? But over here they prove that no, we are not weaker or not we are not less powerful but we can teach you values what human values are okay the poem brings out the idea that caring and sharing is most important more important at least than winning or losing 
sport is not just about winning medals but also about learning empathy and cooperation in the games in the football in the cricket we also learn how to cooperate how to win as a team okay it is not that i scored a goal and then it is done it is important that we score more like a team and not just one self okay so cooperation is also taught in games so that is more important than winning or losing the authorities awarded all the nine of them gold medals because of their display of human value see this one i have written twice this is very important remember this this is the main idea because they displayed human values of kindness and empathy that is why he, they, all of them were awarded gold medals they were all winners okay next we'll move to the uh, this is another picture i've just given over here so that you can understand this is the you know the stadium and all the play all the you know spectators are here and here is the winners who have come over here and the true spirit of sportsmanship sportsmanship means that a sport or an activity should be enjoyed for its own sake you should enjoy the sports it's not it is not an exam that you sit with a lot of tension yes there will be tension yes you will want to win but it also needs to be enjoyed there needs to be fairness you should be fair there should not be any you know malpractice happening there should be mutual respect you should respect one another if there is an indian player and another one is a pakistani player you should not fight or you should not try to harm each other okay you should think that yes this is the other person who is playing same as us i am playing for my country he is playing for his country so there should be mutual respect for one another with one's competitors although he is a competitor he is another player so respect the other player and thereby it will also teach that other player to respect you isn't it if i respect you then you will also respect me so both ways it must be happening this is highlighted by the ones whom we often think to be less capable than us here through their actions they proved us wrong they proved themselves unique and better human beings so we learn this value from whom from the differently abled people who shows this unique nature who waits for the other okay who fights for the other and who wins together this is what we learn from the poem okay next uh, the last thing which is important here is figure of speech see the first one personification i have already told you the loud speaker called out the name loud speaker is an inanimate thing is a, a non living thing it cannot speak but the authorities actually announce the names and the loud speaker is provided human attributes therefore it is personified next one is refrain what is a refrain see in the last lines of the poem the last line is repeated twice so whenever in a poem or a song the last two lines or any two lines are repeated it is called a refrain a refrain is a line or a group of lines that regularly repeat why is it repeated why do you repeat certain things why does uh, a teacher often say you need to read carefully you need to read the passage carefully why do we repeat so that you it gets into your head you give a lot of importance in reading the paragraph because that is important so why did the poet repeat the line here because that line is the theme of the poem that line is the most important part of the poem what are the lines said more than these words ever will said more than these words ever will this is the theme of the poem the last lines repeat to emphasize this is most important to emphasize what is it emphasizing the spirit of care that we need to we are human beings we need to care for each other we need to show compassion we need to show a feeling of love and um, you know mutual respect in these people the world needs more of cooperation and collaboration cooperation means when you all are of equal qualities and you help each other for a better project work what is collaboration maybe six people are sitting together and uh, one person is not good in maths so you help that person out in doing maths not during the exam but you help him or her to learn it better if you can do it better okay that is cooperation than competition yes competition is necessary but cooperation and collaboration makes this a better world isn't it we need to help each other so that this world becomes a better place this is highlighted by the ones whom we often think to be less capable than us here through their actions they proved us wrong they proved us wrong that no they are not uh, you know incapable of certain things they have a lot of human values okay they know that they need to help each other and we who are not differently abled we need to know this from them we need to learn this that yes we are one 
they proved themselves unique and better human beings last thing figure of speech which we need to know from here is alliteration what do you mean by alliteration close repetition of consonant sounds we repeat the consonant sounds in a line if it is repeated two times or more than twice then it is alliteration see in this uh, there are two examples that i have given here you can find more in the poem see his dreams and his efforts dashed in the dot so d is repeated dreams dashed dot all in one line three times d letter is repeated it is a consonant so this is an alliteration number b is but the youngest among them stumbled and staggered see stumbled s and staggered s twice it repeats in a line so repetition of s which is a consonant twice in a line therefore it is also an alliteration so that's all for this uh, poem it is a very simple poem i will also discuss the important questions later maybe and uh, all the questions will be from here only whatever i have given the summary and the poem and the short questions and the figures of speech the theme mainly okay that's all i hope you have liked my video if you have liked it please comment and subscribe thank you so much